Alright, so I thought I'd show a little shortcut in adding data. Uh, so in the project, for instance, we have trials and one, two, and again, this is the sequence ID. I can just grab that and pull it down. Say we have 10 trials we're going to do. Um, I'm going to center a whole bunch of these things here. Uh, so uh, there's some trials. Uh, we need to find the average. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the formula. Well, let's see. Let me do labels here first. So I got, say, observation one. Um, now, I'm not sure. Let's see. If I drag this, this may be on mine smart enough to know that it's O2. Yeah, so notice um, here are, say, five observations. Uh, mine was smart enough that I didn't actually have to do O1 and O2 and then highlight them both to drag it over it just knew but it depends uh, some spreadsheets um, if I had just highlighted the 01 and uh, tried dragging it over all of these would have said 01 so you, you just have to experiment with those kinds of things uh, so what I'm gonna want to do is take the average of all of you know everything that ends up in here well um, but they aren't there yet well, that's okay. I'm still going to uh, put in the spreadsheet function average, uh, open parenthesis, and then highlight my five spaces, uh, close parenthesis, and I'll say average. Now, I get an error. It says I'm dividing by zero because, well, n was zero. Um, I didn't have any data. Uh, so that's a problem. But in um, I just wanted to show why I went ahead and did that is because um, now copying down again filling in as we saw in one of the first videos I made uh, whoops uh, if I double click on that it fills it all in so I've got the average of each row now I've got to put in data here um, and here uh, again I'm just going to use my uh, ran between um, a number a random number between one and nine and so I'll put that in hit enter but you see when I do that if now I double click on that it fills that in and uh, I could have just dragged it over and and now since that's all highlighted I'm gonna grab it down here at the bottom right and grab it this way and fill it in and so there I've got my averages of these five numbers in the row and then these five numbers in a row so th these are my data and these are my averages and um, now in part of this uh, project you're asked to go from 5 to 10 well um, actually there's a pretty simple way to do that in that I can um, copy the sheet so I'm gonna come down here and right click and say I want to move or copy the sheet and, and again in all spreadsheets you can do this sort of thing uh, right now it's on copy um, it's not letting me choose between move and copy because well there's only one sheet and and so you can't really move it uh, so I want to copy it I'm gonna call it uh, sheet 2 I could give it a better name but uh, for this I'm just gonna say sheet 2 and I'm gonna say move to the end uh, and then I'll say OK and you see now down, down here at the bottom it says sheet 2 uh, but it looks just like what I had on sheet 1 but now I'd like to do 10 observations so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna highlight these four columns not five now the reason I wanna highlight these four is I wanna insert columns in between somewhere in here so now I could have also um, done something similar to what I'll do and highlighted these four. Uh, now why four? Because that's as many as I can highlight and still be inside of what I was doing. So now I'm going to right click and I'm going to say insert columns left. Now notice I can also insert columns to the right, but I want to insert columns left. It will insert, since I highlighted four columns, it's going to insert four columns. Okay, so I inserted those, but now notice if I um, say highlight these and I copy and I uh, paste them here. Um, so there are those five. I'll need to rename these to six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, but see, I don't have 10 yet. 
Oh, well, so I will just highlight, uh, whoops, I'll highlight that whole thing by clicking up here, and I'll insert another column left. Okay, so this one's 06, and, and I didn't really even have to type that. Um, I could have just started here and started dragging over because you see there it says 06, 7, 8, 9, 10, and it fills it in. And now this is getting kind of wide. I can always just highlight all these and make this a little narrower. See, I can go to column width, and instead of 0.89, you know, I could take it all the way down to like 0.4 and say OK. And now they aren't so wide, I can see them all. And I can add more if I need to and still see them. Uh, now, so um, I've got all this empty space. Now look at these averages, right, 3.8 and so forth. Well, all I have to do is fill in. So I highlighted this whole thing. I grab this. Notice up here it says the formula is ran between 1 and 9. That's what I need. And I just drag it over, fill it in. And now these averages are taking the average of all 10 numbers. Um, if you don't believe me, right, I, there I double clicked on the cell to see the formula really well here and it says start at C2, well there's C2, all the way to L2, and with the colon, so you see it's taking the average of that whole, whole row still. And it did that because I inserted columns in between the two end columns. So I could have done that anywhere in the middle as long as it was in the middle. If I did it on the end, uh, I don't think it works. So for instance here, um, let's say I do it on the end, I highlight this and I say insert column right. Um, you can't really tell that I inserted a column, uh, but I did. And so now I put in my, uh, well I could even drag all of this stuff over. And when I do, notice nothing changed in the averages. Uh, if I double click this again, you see it still just goes to L2. And I can see the highlighting there. So you, you can't do that. Um, I'll delete that column. Uh, you can't do it by p tacking it on the end, but if you put it in the middle, you can do that. And, and so um, because I was uh, uh, taking the average of the five columns, I could very quickly turn it into ten columns uh, simply by doing my, my inserting there. And if I want to turn it into 25 columns, well, first I'm going to make a whole bunch of columns. Um, you know, I need to go somewhere down here to get a total of 25 columns. Uh, my column width, uh, I'm going to go with like point three to make them really narrow so I can definitely see them all. Uh, they still fit. Now um, uh, here, right, I'm going to come over to find out where I need the 25 columns. Okay, so it's in there. Um, uh, so I, I will need to go to AA when I, when I do this, but Remember, it doesn't do me any good to just start filling things in here. What I'm going to do is, again, sort of be tricky, and I'm going to come in here. Uh, now, I could probably do less copy and pasting um, if I actually did it from this side. So I'll come in here, do all but the last column, right-click, insert columns right, and do that. So there I've added nine more columns. Um, I can sort of, you know, update everything. So I've got 19 columns. Uh, I can um, pull this over, and there I've got all my 19 columns and my new averages. Uh, but I wanted 25 columns, and so well, I've got 19. I need six more columns. So I'm going to highlight one, two, three, four, five, six, and um, right click, insert columns right, and that went to AA, so I'm pretty sure I got that right. But again, I can simply, um, you know, bring these things over, 
and fill it all in. Now that says 19 still, so I'll drag that over and make it a 25. And there I've got my 25 columns and I have all my averages for each of those uh, 10 rows of the 25 columns. So it's very quick um, to insert data that way if you're tricky. Uh, if, if you had to retype this each time, eh, it's not that slow. You know, I can come in here and I can say, oh, yeah, I need that to be the average uh, from uh, C2. Uh, it's a little, it's not letting me click on it there, but if I just start at the other end and I come this way, it'll allow me to do it. Uh, so, whoops, too far. Uh, uh, it's, yeah, I'm having some problems here trying to make that happen. So you see it only went to D2, so that's not the right formula. Um, you know, so it, eh, it's taking me a little longer. What I'll do is I'll just make that a little wider, see if that helps in uh, trying to type my formula. Now, I can just go up here and change that to a C and hit Enter. And then um, I can do my double click thing and put everything there. But um, let's see if I can type it uh, here just so if I start it all over again, equals average. And then now I highlight, notice I can, I can get the C2 um, so I had to back up. But, but it ended up taking me a little longer just because of the little things. And then, I, of course, I would have to make those changes all the way down. Um, you know, so, so there are some trickier ways to just kind of speed things up a little bit. And, and so this is one way to uh, speed, speed up the process of, of adding more data. Now, and again, I added it here to sheet two. What I really should have done was create a third sheet so that I didn't wreck my previous data. And, you know, and I could always go back to either my case of five uh, observations or my case of 10 observations or my case of 25 observations. Okay, but this isn't my, my project here. I'm just showing us some, some shortcuts. Okay, so that, that's a way to generate our data that we need just a little bit quicker.